Hello world, I'm Agitated Crane, and in the last episode I promised that we are going to look at um, Phoenix Price Packs. Now, this is um, a special promotion event, if you will, that Cryptic uh, does, I think, at the end of um, a log logbox cycle. No, that, that's not it. I don't think it will be vis visible here. Uh, when uh, they discontinue one of the logboxes, they uh, introduce Infinity Logbox, which uh, has like all the previous logboxes in it. But they also sometimes do Phoenix Price Pack. And I don't remember exactly when they do this, but uh, it's, it's actually quite often, I find. As you can see, you can buy one for uh, 4,500 uh, Iridium crystals. Fairly pricey, but um, I think it's worth it. Um, you can also get a free one from uh, Drozana Station. The, this is my free one. So let's open it. And we get an uncommon prize token. Uh, so each uh, prize, um, what do you call it? Prize pack contains this um, token. Uh, and they are usually like epic, ultra rare, very rare, rare and uncommon quality, right? And what you can do, you can um, spend uh, the token on uh, items that are no longer available in the game. So for example, if you were to get lucky and get uh, Epic token, you would be able to purchase any of these ships. And those ships, uh, they are um, event ships. Uh, right now there is another event ru running for um, uh, Fakiri Warship. Uh, there are, I believe, three events each year. There is one for winter, there is one for summer, and then there is anniversary event. And each event rewards a ship. So as you can see, there are fair, uh, a fairly large collection of uh, ships. Although I'm not sure if, um, if if I get it from here, it will be unlocked on all characters. This this I'm not sure. I, I think it's only for the, for that one character that that gets it, which is um, sad. But um, oh well. Uh, and as you can see, there are more ships in ultra rare, and from very rare we get. Um, items and those items there are uh, this i believe is like discontinued uh, item from uh, zen store uh, some of the consoles i don't remember where they are from but um, uh, these items there they are also from uh, events uh, there are, there is like uh, mirror invasion event and crystalline entity event and i think one more I'm not sure though. Uh, and each of those uh, reward uh, used to reward like um, special item. So that's uh, what this thing is about. And I believe this rare, uh, these rare rewards are uh, as well from there. So you can see there are some interesting things to get, and I honestly I suggest you you do it. Um, if you have everything from uh, one category, you can trade the price pack for lower price packs. Sadly, you cannot trade up. So if I had like 20 uncommon um, price tickets, I couldn't trade them for a rare t ticket, for example. I can purchase uh, another price pack with... Um, uh, price tokens, but uh, yeah, it's not ideal. 
And even if you are, uh, even if you have like everything from here, which uh, I mean, good job. Then you can spend it on uh, Phoenix Universal Tech Upgrade, which I believe... It does not have the Lithium cost, and that is huge. If you look at um, any item, let's look for example on this and upgrade. Um, when you upgrade it, uh, first of all, the upgrade is not... Um, Usually the, the this upgrade item does not give give you like fifty one thousand technology points. It, it, it points it gives you usually smaller amount, and um, then it it has like a chance uh, to upgrade in quality, and it has the lithium cost, and the lithium cost is like usually fairly large chunk so not having to spend the lithium on this that this is just like great and you can also get like commendation xp bonus uh, it's, fi it's fine i guess anyway that that was that let's let's continue with uh, missions i think that's what is more interesting in here we are still in roman mystery and we have mine enemy. Starfleet Intelligence has decoded the list of Riemann targets that you recovered from the vault. I need you to investigate one of these locations and determine why Obasek and his forces planned an attack there. The Vahar system is still technically part of the Romulan Star Empire, but Ferengi speculators have moved in and the Empress has done nothing to remove them. The Ferengi have reopened the mines and are now doing business with anyone with Latinum. You will go to the Vahar system under the pretense of negotiating a possible trade agreement with the Federation. Talk to Madron, the operator of the mines. Convince him to allow you access. Find out all you can. Once we know why Obasek and the Remans are targeting these mines, then we will be able to decide how to proceed. Uh, another thing about Phoenix packs, they only reward items from um, uh, events, I believe. So if you are looking for items that are no longer in game, like for example, I don't know, bridge officers that were uh, rewarded uh, during feature uh, uh, featured episodes. Uh, those you will have to wait for uh, reruns. Uh, you can't get them uh, in price packs, and uh, also like um, special bridge officer promotions and the, all, all that, all that stuff that that you cannot find there. But other than that, like events, e even I and I tried to play like uh, each, um, like. Uh, each event I tried to complete, even I don't have uh, all the items, so that's like... I have new missions. Great idea on cryptic part. Anyway, we are already on... What did she pronounce it like? Fihar? I guess H is silent, system. The unusual gravitational harmonics of the planetoids of the... The R system are believed to be due to the elongated elliptical orbit of PR2. However, Federation researching researchers in the system have recently de de detected something that could be a dark matter nebula. The presence of an anomaly of that type could be affecting the harmonics of all the planetoids. The Federation science Council is constructing a Metreon fountain on uh, VR1 in an effort to learn more about the nebula. Uh, let's begin the mission.
As you can see, it's already very late, so I apologize if I sound tired and uh, weird. <laughs> Captain Dremans were targeting a magnesite mine in this area, but the list we recovered didn't have its exact coordinates. I know we are in the right area, but all of the moons in this system are inhabited and our sensors are being affected by the magnesite. We will need to contact each moon to try to determine which one the Romans were actually targeting. Okay. And on our way we will be con uh, gathering these um, crafting materials. Oop. Beautiful. You have stuck your nose in our business for the last time, Starfleet. All ships attack. Attack! Alright. And I think they got... No, I think it's just my... Power system's been... Uh, wrongly... set up. Like they, they, for whatever reason, they managed to get my weapon systems to zero, so I couldn't attack them. Also, I s kind of want to fire torpedo. Uh, I guess he will die before I can manage. Okay, never mind. As you can see, our ship is stronger, faster. We have more weapons, more uh, abilities to use. We are getting into fun sector. Although the ship still turns like a whale. Eh, it's slightly better, but it's not as responsive as escort class vessel. Oh well. Come on. Get closer. This moon is private property. No solicitors, beggars or Starfleet allowed. They're not very hospitable around here, are they? This is a dangerous area. And it's only gotten worse since the destruction of Romulus. It might be difficult to get someone to trust us. Yeah. I'm sure we will be able to proceed with our mission. Scanning. More particles for the particle god. Yeah. Nice. I think I was actually running out of uh, crafting materials because... Uh, I was running those projects to increase my, uh, like, crafting skill. I haven't really crafted anything yet. Hello, my good friends. I'm so happy to meet you. Perhaps you are in the market for some high-quality magnesite. We have the finest ore in the quadrant. On behalf of the mineral miners and residents here, I'm more than happy to welcome you to our home. Please transport to the surface. See? Unfortunately, the large amounts of extremely pure magnesite ore in the core of our little world will interfere with your sensors. For safety reasons, I must insist that you use the transporter signals and chanters that I have installed at my own expanse, expense. Also, I know you Starfleet types are so fond of your away teams, but could you please restrict the number of crew you bring down to the surface? My people here aren't used to strangers and you wouldn't want to disrupt their work with you. So, majority of the missions um, in Star Trek Online require you to have, like, um, the full away team, which is, like, uh, four bridge officers, if I'm not mistaken. But um, in this mi mission and um, later in newer missions that uh, Cryptic adds they lowered the bridge officer count to one or two bridge officers and uh, i'm to be honest a little bit sad about this it makes sense because um 
like the game is not that complicated, right? And in the shooter section, it's actually uh, gets very messy. So and as, as if there are there are too many bridge officers, they have tendencies to bug out, right? Uh, so having one or two is actually, I guess, makes it, it makes more sense for them. But uh, since they added a bunch of new special spe specializations for them, I would have actually preferred if they increased that number. Let's beam down. And I don't want to bring... I, I want a healer with me. Or should I bring my... Let's bring Kevalin. She she's like the strongest member of our team. Supposedly. Here we are. Nice Romulan mining colony. And I am about to show you something that you may not know if you are not like huge on to, uh, into talking with NPCs. This person behind you, this Romulan lady named Tri, you can talk to her. Did you need something? What are you doing here? It's a long story. After the destruction of Romulus, I joined a group of colonists looking for a new place to settle. We chose to form a new agrarian community, on Viranaut, a pastoral world on the edge of Romulan space. Our colony was attacked and destroyed. I managed to evade the attackers and get off-world with a small group of people. My luck ran out here, and I've been stuck ever since. So, this is referring to Romulan's starting experience, starting missions. They start on Verinat and they, they get attacked. So she is a survivor from Verinat. Uh, and if you are actually a Romulan captain, uh, you can you recognize her and she would join your team. Not, not as bridge officer, but as duty officer. And I believe she is uh, either purple or blue quality, so you, it's actually a very valuable member of the of the crew, so I would suggest getting her uh, if you are a Romulan officer. What kind of work do you do? I'm a biochemist by trade. I specialize in hemocyanin, a division of hematology working with copper-based blood. On Viranaut, I handled a lot of issues related to food compatibility and local biochemistry. These days, I mostly handle minor medical issues and nutritional deficiencies for the people living here. I can't afford passage off of this moon. I've managed to stay out of debt, but I don't know how long that will last. A little bit of consistency in the text here, but uh, it worked. Have you heard of anything strange locally? This whole mining facility is nothing but strange. That Ferengi, Madren, rides everyone hard to make a profit. But just when it looks like things will get too bad, he turns around and does something generous. Folks have occasionally disappeared, and not by leaving on a ship. People here for weeks or months will suddenly vanish. People talk about seeing strange things, or being kept out of parts of the mine by the guards. There's something deeper in those mines. I'm sure of it. So yeah, nice little bit of lore, and um, as I mentioned, if you are a Romulan, Go get her. I think it's a nice, like, uh, what should I call it? Like a story that your Roman uh, captain is actually like gathering survivors under his banner. I don't know. I I like it. Uh, this is, uh, by the way, another mission where it is beneficial to have other players with you. There are uh, uh, class-specific uh, objectives that you can do. Although, I don't remember if you are uh, if you actually have to do all of them. 
if you can do all of them if you have more people in your in your party i think you only have to do one and then uh, the mission continues so maybe you don't have to bring them like other players and i don't think there is actually an achievement for it but uh, yeah the option is here on behalf of everyone on this Forsaken Rock, let me be the first to welcome you to Unpronounceable Planet. As you can see, we don't have time for pleasantries and I'm not sharing my Trania stash with you. Uh, this is some sort of beverage. So why don't we skip the chit chat and get down to business? Of course, I heard you are an excellent source of magnesite what makes your mind better than the others in the sector so much text and i'm so tired all right let's do this unfortunately i cannot call this mine my own i'm just a middleman out of the goodness of my heart i help the residents here pass on the products of their hard work to commercial entities such as yourself the minuscule transaction fee and trade tariff I keep to offset my expenses as is figured into the unit cost of the ore. So he is talking to me as if I am a buyer and I pretend to be a buyer but like I'm Starfleet. Does he really buy in this that I will be buying anything? Like shouldn't I be supplied by Starfleet? Shouldn't we have like uh, negotiators that are not like in uniform that would be buying can they would be buying from reliable sources and not for ng like uh, black market dealers i don't know seems strange my operation has became become one of the best in the area because of the high demand for my services from both sides i provide the best mining equipment and supplies in the sector to the miners while my customers get competitive pricing on the ore they need. Do you have any more information about the mine themselves? I don't pay much attention to that. Miners have empty cards and they return with ones filled with ore. If you are that interested you could visit the mines themselves but I don't recommend it. It's such a dirty disagreeable business and I am convinced that breeding ore dust for too long is terrible for you. The miners who live near my quarters used to keep me up all night after keep me up night after night with their dreadful coffin. I had to install soundproofing just to get some sleep. Are you sure you you wouldn't rather look at the ore? Yes. I have for sale. Thanks, but I would like to talk to the miners first. Really? Suit yourself. Just remember, I have an exclusive contract to export magnesite ore from this moon. If you try to cut me out of your deals, you will regret it. I just have a few questions before we conduct any business. I will be back when I'm done. So at first I was thinking like uh, the guy is ripping the miners off. And yeah, he actually does, but um, uh, like I was thinking that he's unnecessary, but uh, then I realized that he's probably the guy with the, sh with the ship that and miners don't have a ship and uh, he's the only one who can transport the ore uh, to the buyers, so yeah, it actually works out. Madran won't answer any questions about why the Roman Remans might be targeting this place for fear of scaring us away from a possible sale. Perhaps if we ask some of the locals about what's going on here, they will be able to provide more information. Uh, talking hard. Agitated crying, crying tired. Uh, and so we have three miners uh, to choose from. There are more, but like the like those that are not quest related they will not be of any use to us like they, they will have some lore but um, we don't see strangers here very often what do you want to continue see that they have some lore but uh, 
I'm tired, I don't want to read it, but... Um, should I? Nah, fuck it. Anyway, uh, the three miners that we actually care about are those in green circles. And as you can see, there are three of them and there are three classes um, that we can play. Science, uh, Tactical and Engineering. And uh, all of these miners will give us like a quest to complete uh, in order to proceed. And I believe the... This guy is engineer? No, probably not. This is probably a science. I'm sorry. I, I really can't talk at the moment. I have to finish a survey of the area so the miners can start work on a new mine shaft. Is there anything I can do to help? As much as I'd appreciate someone else to lug around this heavy equipment, it's all very delicate. And I'd only trust a capable scientist to help me. Okay, so this is for science. If I encounter someone who can help, I will send them your way. Uh, I believe Engineer has something like did this uh, machinery with him, so we will see him. Um, that guy is bullet, so that's for tacticals. To kick some R's. And this guy is engineer with uh, with his like equipment. I don't have time to talk to you right now. I need to repair this drill so I can make a living. Is there anything I can do to help? Not unless you know anything about laser induction coils. You don't by any chance know anything about laser induction coils, do you? Well, as it happens. If I ask Modron for a replacement laser induction coil, he'll charge me a hundred times what it's worth. He's the only one who brings supplies to this planet. I remember when we had regular contact with the home world and my brother there would send a package of sweets for my children in every transport. Now, I can't dwell on the past. My problem is this broken drill. I have to fix it or I won't make quota. We salvage parts from old equipment and sometimes other people here will trade components. But this requires some specific components. If you Sorry. think you can help me, I'll mark your map with the locations of some people who might have what we need. Okay. So as you can see, we have a bunch of uh, people to check in order to collect parts. Hello. You're an outsider here. Why should I trust you? I could give this sphere part to someone who really needs it. What the, what the fuck is going on? How do you avoid breaking your drill bits when you hit a pocket of magnesite? Also, this is a man and he's talking with the female uh, voice. Um, magnesite. Uh, how do you avoid breaking your drill bits when you hit a pocket of magnesite? How should I know this? It's a trick question. Cool the drill bit. Hit the drill bit. Release gas pressures by venting the drill. Increase the rotational speed. Solve the rotational speed. Use diamond type drill bit. Use water to decrease the friction. Obviously this is not a trick question. We should be able to reason out an answer even if we have to base it off some incorrect guesses at first. Oh. You're an outsider here. I think Why the diamond I trust is better. I could give this sphere part to someone who really needs it. Tell me this. How do you avoid breaking your drill bits when you hit a pocket of magnesite? Wrong. Captain, do these miners look like they can afford a diamond tip to anything? <laughs> well... <laughs> They don't look like they can afford uh, sex change operations as well, and uh, here we are. You're an outsider here. Why should I trust you? I could give this sphere part to someone who really needs it. Release the gas pressures. Oh my god. Excess pressure would cause the drill bit to be ejected from the drill site rather than cause damage directly to... 
uh, rather than cause damage directly to the drill bit. Perhaps we should consider an answer dealing with rotational speed or friction. Okay. You're an outsider here. Why should I trust you? I could give this sphere part to someone who really needs it. Tell me this. How do you avoid breaking your drill bits when you hit a pocket of magnesite? Captain, this all doesn't look like it would tolerate too much extra water in it. So adding water to a drill site would cause the entire site to turn into a muddy mess before l locking up locking up like dry and concrete. Okay, so this is uh, this is becoming annoying. I regret my choices. How should I know this bullshit? You're an outsider here. Why should I trust you? Also, it is annoying that they I use this um, part to someone who really needs it. Uh, Tell me this. Rotate, uh, rotating options instead of, uh, of multiple options. Let's decrease the rotational speed. Correct. Finally. You obviously know your way <laughs> around this equipment. I'm sorry I thought you were just another one of Madran's luckies. He controls every second of our lives. I can't work without him and I can't eat without buying the food from him. So the pitiful wages he pays just end up back in his pocket. Take the part you need, we miners need to stick together. Yes, I am obviously one of the miners. Can I, can I talk to one of the refugees and maybe... If I ask Modrin for a replacement laser and I have okay, to no. Maybe look at some lore. Have you seen my brother? Is this going to be an insane amount of text? Tell me about your life here. My life. My life is unimportant. <gasps> she talks. It's my brother. I Thank can't God. find him. I don't care about your brother. Maybe I can help. Oh, okay. I will be helping, I guess. How long has he been missing? I last saw him two days ago. Madran assigned both of us to work in the upper levels of the mine. Toshin's drill bit broke, and he needed a new one. I know I should have gone with him. It's not safe to be in the mine alone. Now he's gone. Why isn't it... Why isn't it safe to be in the mine? There's a group of people down there who treat the mine like it's their own. I don't know why Modern tolerates them, but they make life miserable for the rest of us. They steal and terrorize the weak. I once saw them dragging a woman to the lower levels and I... I, I never saw her again. She wasn't the only one. Many people have disappeared. I thought if my brother and I kept our heads down that we would be safe, but... Maybe they took him. Murderers. Murderers. If they killed my brother, I'll kill them all. Fun. Is there anything else I should know? If you go into the mine, watch for the silver spheres. There are creatures in the dark. Devils. They're made of stone. Nothing can hurt them, and their touch burns. I've seen them moving around in the tunnels. Anywhere you see the silver spheres, the monsters are not far away. Uh, I don't recall if silver spheres are poop or uh, eggs, but um, it is uh, referring to a creature that uh, we saw in TV show, actually. Like in the original series, I think uh, Spock had to mind melt with one of them. Okay, where is this guy? Ah, here he is. I have a few spare parts. I'm sure I have what you need to get the drill working again. Again with woman voices voices on uh, male characters. And he just gives this to us. Okay. So much more easier. What? What? Commander, this miner thinks Madran sent us to collect on some debt. We need to catch him and explain. We aren't here for Latinum. We need his help to repair the drill. 
Okay, so he actually escaped. Where? Where? Where, where did he escape? I did not see. I did not see what happened. Oh, this is disaster. See somewhere there? No, that's... Bullet. Refugees. Can I deal with them? And I think I can. Ah, oh, come on! Well, this is disaster. That miner escaped and I have no idea how to drag him. Should I be checking with all the refugees? What can I say? We exist. I mine because there's nothing but rocks on this forsaken planet. If I'm lucky, I dig enough ore to make my quota and Modern pays me. If he pays me, I can eat and have a warm place to sleep. If we don't make our quotas, there's nothing. Even if I do have Latinum, most of it goes to Modern to pay my debts, and the rest he takes in exchange for the supplies he imports. I would leave. But I owe too much to Modern to ever earn enough to buy my passage off this place. Besides, where would I go? Well, I'm always looking for new crew members. Every morning, the first thing I do when I wake is curse that Ferengi's name. Modern found this moon about two years after the destruction of the homeworld. Most of our equipment was broken or useless, the supplies were gone and we were starving. After some negotiations, Modron had his contract and we had food. We're supposed to be working with him, but he's the only one who benefits from our labor. Modron owns the only working ship here, so no supplies come in without him. He negotiates all of the ore contracts, so most of the Latinum goes into his pocket. And he sets the prices for food, medicine, and equipment. So everyone here owes him more than we can ever repay. He owns us now. I hate him for that, but I can't live without him. So much text. Do you get help from the Empire? The Empire? <laughs> what Empire? Our Empire turned to dust with the loss of the homeworld. If you're rich or in the military, then maybe there's something. I hear the people in Sela's Shining City in the Raytor system live quite well, as long as they obey her commands. For the rest of us, there's nothing but dust and regret. The Federation has sent aid. We want to help all Romulans. I have heard this, but I have not seen that it is true. Are you going to go to every Romulan on every world and hand them bread? Because that is the only way you can help all of us. The strong take from the weak. Sela and her ships are strong. The tall Shi'ar is strong. Your aid goes to fill their bellies and heal their wounds, Starfleet, not mine. I see. I see. So where did this guy go? I, I would have sworn that I was paying attention. But I didn't see, like, the, the guy running away. Oh, no, that's a different one. Maybe that's him? Uh, that's that's no it is him stop chasing me and now I can't pay Madron's Madron back you don't hurt me I, I, I don't have the Latinum now but I can and this woman oh. speaks Mother, in man's voice send you here to break my kneecaps oh my god what, what is going on with this game I have a daughter in the Raider system I thought I could contact her to send me some Latinum but Madru won't let me use the subspace array. You see, I owe him some money. And I didn't make my quota last month because I was sick and... But that's life, isn't it? All you can do is try to hang on to whatever you have left. 
I'll give you the part you need. Take it, and I hope it solves your problem. Thank you. So, I actually want to talk with other uh, Romulan refugees because previous when I played this uh, mission previously, I actually didn't. Like I, I went for um, quest objectives, but uh, it seems like each has a little bit of story, and there is actually like a diplomacy check in the mines. So I'm thinking maybe if I have like some special information that I would be able to pass there better. John True Stranger. Have you always lived here? Oh, my, my family and I have been here all our lives. It's a hard life, but it's all I know. They are my very talkative used to though. tell me tales of the home world. She'd talk about the plazas in Rateg or vacations she spent with her father on the shores of the Avnik Sea. And she would tell me about my father, who gave up his place in the military evacuation ship so she could live. He... he never knew he had a child. She would tell me these stories. Then later, when she thought I was asleep, she would cry. Okay, so actually... You know what? I'm, I'm actually very tired, <laughs> and uh, these poor sort stories uh, actually make me even more tired. So I'm slowly falling asleep, and that's not good actually. So I'm going to pause the recording here and then uh, continue tomorrow. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, y y you will not notice the difference. And we are back. I believe this is where we left off previously, uh, before I totally gave up uh, on life and decided to sleep instead. Uh, but we are back. Uh, it's fairly early, so I think we should be able to knock a few episodes off our list. Let's continue questioning this uh, Romulan refugee. He charges us too much and pays too little. He's like everyone else in this world, out for himself. But he doesn't let us starve. And if a child needs medicine, they get it. We many here grumble and hate him, but I, I cannot. If I were in his position and his life was in my hands, can I say that I would act any differently than he does? So the, the friend game... Ferengi are being Ferengi, right? <laughs> but uh, on the other hand, uh, really, I don't think he does anything like... Um, like, we, we, we question some refugees, but I don't remember them saying specifically something bad about him, only that uh, he's, like, profiteering. Eh. What can you tell me about this area? Stay in the settlement. Don't go down into the mine. And whatever you do, don't leave this area. I do not wish you harm, stranger. And there are many dangers here. There is a group. They rule the mine. And they are dangerous. Even Madrin fears them. If you avoid them, they will ignore you. And defy them, and they will turn on you. Last week, a good man died because he would not give them what they wanted. He was not the first. There are many monsters on this moon that you would be wise to avoid. Outside of the settlement, there are packs of wild animals. If you take a warrigal from its mother when it's very young, it can be tamed. If you wait too long, they are savage. Packs of wild warrigal roam the edges of our settlement. Often they prowl the refuse piles, looking for scraps of food. A pack of warrigal can kill even a strong man. You must be careful when you are in their territory. And they are not the only monsters here. The miners tell stories about creatures made of stone who can burn you to cinders. 
I have not seen one of these creatures myself, but I know that many people who enter the mine do not leave it. If you are, I believe, science officer, you will encounter these uh, varigules that he mentions. Um, we had um, a side quest uh, to collect um, parts for the for the drill, and science uh, officers have something like um, monitor seismic activity or some shit like that. And uh, one of their side uh, side uh, uh, side objective is way in in the in the desert. Uh, so um, they will meet a, p a pack there. It's it's like uh, near the den or something. Um, have you seen anyone suspicious beside me? You're the first outsider I've seen in a long time. There's no reason for anyone to want to come here. All right. So that was the last refugee, refugee and that should be all the information that we can gather. And as you can see, the map is fairly huge. So I think this is where the science officer has to go. Or maybe this is. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Also, I have to return the drill to the drill operator. That's bullet refugee and drill operator is somewhere there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. I got your parts. Be happy Thank about you. it. With these parts, I can fix this drill and get back to work. I need to make my quota today, or Modern will cut my pay again. I already owe him so much latinum, I don't know how I'll ever repay it. He brings in food and supplies that we need, but the prices are so high. I remember the dark days after we lost Romulus. There were no supply shipments for months. I had to listen to my children cry because they were so hungry. I might spend the rest of my life in debt, but I have a life. To answer your question, though, uh, I don't know what makes this mine different from any other mine. The magnesite isn't any different. Maybe there are some veins with less impurities in the lower levels of the mine. I wouldn't know. There's a group of thugs who keep everyone away from those areas. And I won't risk a beating just to satisfy my curiosity. If you want to risk checking it out, that's your business. So, this is supposed to be opti uh, optional uh, mission. But uh, honestly, I don't think you can proceed without completing it. Yep. And yeah, I, I think, uh, well, it's probably you can't complete all of them in one run, but uh, you can complete it with friends so you can get different um, accolades uh, for your trouble. Uh, accolades. They do add some bonuses, these uh, story accolades, though I, I don't believe they do anything. Can can we check? Drill Doctor. Uh, completed. D -d 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 Drill... Drill Doctor. It gives you some points. I don't think points do anything. I don't remember them doing anything. I think the only... Like accolades that you should be worrying about are these uh, damage accolades. I think they will eventually add uh, passive st statuses to you, like here from accolade space, delete him debugging. I think this is for uh, I don't know using phasers a lot. Probably I. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh my god, he's not voice acted. Okay. You want to go into the mine? Are you really interested in buying any magnesite or are you just here to cause trouble? Mm -hmm. Because of if it's the late, uh, 
because if it's the latter, I know some place you can start a little ruckus. There is a gang that controls the bottom levels of the mine. They won't even let me in there. Previously, I allowed them to keep their little kingdom in exchange for information, but lately they have been more trouble than they are worth. And the intel they are feeding me is useless. Honestly, who doesn't know about the Breen invasion of the fairy space? Some spoilers for future episodes. I'll take that information to heart. And we will go deep into the mines of not Moria, F -f -f Fihar. And these are the Varigals, the, those are domesticated and uh, you meet the wild ones. And we can proceed in here. Nice. Digging for answers. Way better... Uh, way better uh, mission name than uh, mine, mine Enemy. Uh, there is a movie Enemy Mine, which uh, I like quite a lot. It's like one of my favorite sci-fi movies. But uh, for this mission I feel it, it would be ba better to have it as digging for answers and uh, honestly I have like on, on my YouTube I'm putting the videos with uh, I put the titles as um, mission names so I feel like digging for answers is be better than mine enemy but at the same time I think I already have digging for answers uh, in battle chasers <laughs> anyway this guy does not let us proceed and we can talk to him Hello, my friend. What do you want? Uh, we can be hostile towards him, or we can try to. I would like to enter this area. This area is restricted. Only people my friends and I like me enter, and I don't like you. Maybe if you got to know me a little better, you'd learn to like me. You don't belong here. And I'm done talking with you. Leave now. You will suffer the consequences. It's been a pleasure wasting my time with you. So, here is one interesting uh, tidbit, I guess. Uh, this guy used to have uh, diplom diplomacy option. I'm not sure if that option is disabled because I'm not um, high enough on diplomacy. But at the same time, I think um, if that was the case, the option would be just grayed out. So I wonder if they removed it or if it's just uh, like I'm Starfleet and uh, as as Starfleet I can I cannot. What do you want? I I, I cannot uh, do diplomacy with him, with them. Maybe it's now only for Rom ones. Anyway, get out of my way. Okay, get shot. No. Mm. Poor guy got killed. So, this mine is under ta 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 Tal Shiar control. Uh, when in ground combat, I suggest first dealing with um, medical officers. They are the most problematic of the bunch. See that medic there. Because they will not not only will they heal other like NPCs, they will also oh no no no. Oh okay. I guess respawn I don't think she will be able to kill them on her own. Um not only will they heal other enemies, they will also uh, resurrect them, so that that is doubly annoying. Come on. And these guys have shields even. Like, what the fuck? You are supposed to be miners. Also, 
Did I make a spoiler about Tal Shear? <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully not. Some of them did look like Tal Shear, right? I'm, I'm not crazy. No, they do look, look like miners. Okay, never mind. Spoilers. Yep, spoilers. But, I mean, I mean who, who else could it be? Come on. It's Romulans. Let's examine this, this area. Captain, there are a series of pressure, pressure plates locked in this area. They are low-tech, but uh, the Romans may have had to resort to outdated security measures because of interference from the magnesite veins in the caverns. The problem is that the magnesite is making our tricorders almost useless. If there is anything on this moon that the Romans would want to eliminate badly enough to use Teleron weapons, it has to be here. We are going to have to figure out how to use the pressure plates to reveal whatever the Romans are trying to hide. I suspect that we need to activate two of them to open the door. I'm not sure if uh, there is a tutorial for this, but if you are not aware of, of it, uh, there are some uh, options for your buffs. Uh, it, it has like passive mode. Uh, I guess a aggressive, a aggressive mode. Uh, d direct um, order to attack or defend. And uh, this is a rally point. So we can use it to tell our bridge officer to go there. Sadly, the controls in this game are bonkers, so I'm missing what I'm trying to do. Okay, now she's standing correctly, and I can stand on this one, and as you can see they changed the color, so we can lock it, and free her from, uh, from the order, and use the hide hidden door. And now, spoilers, is, it's Tal <laughs> I give the orders here, Commander. You are out of line. With all due respect, sir, there's a difference between protecting the Empire from her enemies and provoking There is them. much here you do not understand, Janik. The Remans need to know their place, as do you. I will not forget your insubordination, Commander. The Tal Shiar has no place for officers who cannot follow orders. I'll be in the command set. Colonel! They were civilians! Their blood is on our hands! Get used to it. There will be more. Speaking of which, why don't you clean out the brig before you become a resident there? So, um, if I'm not mistaken, these missions were remade a little bit, like they, uh, some lines were changed to fit with um, updated lore, if you will, um, because um, previously I think this was the first time that we met Hakiv, and uh, they remade it because um, later in Legacy of the Romulus, Hakiv was like the main villain for uh, Romulans. Like they're starting story arc, right? Also, what I find cool is that these guys are so preoccupied that they cannot be bothered with us. Okay, the brick is that way, and that way is uh, our mines. Uh, I, I don't remember. I, I know this the story like progresses here. I almost feel sorry for you, but I have my own neck to worry about. <sighs> I'll be joining you in there soon enough. If Hakiv has his way, we all will. Like this is where the story progresses, but I think uh, the the mines are completely optional. 
probably. I don't know. We will see. Can I talk with you? The cell controls are in the center of the room. They are in here. And we can open them. We can open them all. Can unleash the miners on their captors. Miners that don't have a weapon. They will be just meat shield for glorious federation. And where is the enemy? She was supposed to be in here. Ah, there she is. Hello. Oh. And she has Stellar on mine, which should be destroyed because it's going to wipe everyone. Oh, I think she's down. And everyone is dying. And we don't have a healer. Nice. Enough! I surrender. I value my life more than the Tal Shiar's. Hold on. I have to try to... Uh... Yeah, okay. Okay. I think one died. Damn it. Enough! I surrender. I value my life more than the Tal Shiar's secrets. I'll tell you anything you want to know. But first you must tell me why you are here and what you want. Why does the why does the Raman resistance want to destroy this base? The Remans know about this base? Impossible. Only the leadership of the Tal Shiar know we're here. The Empress herself couldn't find us. I don't believe you, but it makes no difference. This is not a military installation. We listen and record here, nothing more. There are many targets those Reman scum would find much more tempting. And this, I believe, is the option for um, Roman com uh, captains. It it's weird that they, they do give it to you. In some cases, like when I was talking with that uh, refugee woman uh, upstairs, uh, there wasn't an option gra grayed out, and for this one there is. Okay. Are you sure you want to end things like this? Yes. Oh, I actually have to kill her? Okay, that's... That is new. That is new and unexpected. Also, I'm... Damn it. I'm panicking. Well... Save the miners! Hmm. Another one died. Damn it. Yeah. Teleron weaponry is dangerous. I did manage to confiscate contraband from my crew. That that is great. Um now I think these guys are now power hungry, so they will try to actually kill everyone in that room next room. Mm. About Janek, that there was an option to just um, arrest her, and I'm pretty sure I m did manage to arrest her on Klingon characters and Federation characters, so that's not only like Romulan, like option exclusive to Romulan co commanders, so I'm that's very strange for me. Yep, they are killing everyone, okay. They are killing the data entry people. Oh well. At least we will we will be able to um, check some computers. Oh my god, so much! So much information! And again I'm panicking. Read logs on Romulan Empire activity. Uh, okay, we do it for the lore. Come on. Observed from Holofeed on Rator 3. Increased power use of Royal Palace indicates that lower levels may be in use. Senator Shemek is accepting bribes in exchange for slowing progress on trade agreements. 
som Star Wars prequel Intrigued Hero. Hydrogen representative is made with Sila. Uh, Hydrogen are basically um, predators in Star Trek universe. They, they are all about the hunt. Remaran representative removed from Senate Chamber. Oppositional leader Tetan assassinated. Nice. Three reunification proponents arrested. Reunification is, I think, um, uh, the thing that uh, Spock wanted to do. Like, he, he was undercover on Rom Romulan, and I think he was uh, trying to, uh, like, um, connect Romulans with their um, Vulcan brothers or something like that. That, that, that was the reunification. Agents for Sila met with Trueway leaders near Badlands. Trueway, uh, I think they are like um, Cardassian radicals or something like that. Anyway, Tau Deva activity. Tau Deva, I believe, is uh, Romulan sector. Listening post Hephaestus. Observed from live intelligence in Republic space. Archaeological activity indicates that a recent excavation has revealed an unexpected high value find. Okay. Attempts to capture colonies of putative Molrihan meeting with resistance from mixed forces. Um, Molrihan, I think, is uh, new Romulus. And I think Tau Devo is the sector where uh, Romulan Republic is located. Uh, Federation Starbase 234 engaging in defensive training exercises, as you do. Long range social destabilization of Akamarian culture underway. I have no idea who this, these guys are. Tolian activity correlated with temporal anomalies near Azur Nebula. I don't believe we have met Tolians yet, right? Maybe we did. They, they are the spider pe spider guys. They have... Um, they live in this... Um, uh, host hostile to humanoid environments and they will play a bigger role later. Clock tassets monitoring construction of listening post in Jurid system. Jurid system seems familiar, but I don't remember what it is about. Okay, well, let's jump up. What do we have here? Starfleet activity. That is going to be fun. Observed from captured holofeed in Earth's space dock. Captain Sulu has applied for transfer to the front lines of Klingon conflict. Oh my! Admiral Queen under medical care for heart condition. Intercepted Starfleet medical records indicate that the condition is fully treatable and not suitable target for exploitation. Nice. Seventh Fleet entered neutral zone as part of a routine series of exercises. They are battling the Horde and trying to recruit uh, Dark Iron Dwarfs. <laughs> Some inside the joke for uh, people who watch my... Uh, my Warcraft videos. <laughs> Franklin Drake heading um, extended operation in Eta Eridani. Also, don't re I don't don't recall what this is about. Starfleet Command considered new tactics in conflicts with True Way. Don't don't recall. Starfleet intelligence concerned with rise in war, profiteering by independent Ferengi and Dopterians. I have no idea who Dopterians are, but Ferengi are those um, big eared assholes that we met upstairs. Is this going to be Klingon? Yeah. Observed from Holofit on Kuon. Uh, I think it's pronounced Kronos. Councilor Jimpok facing increasing challenges from members of the High Council. Loyal to, hers, to House of Mortok. There are some Game of Thrones politics going on on Kronos and uh, I'm not up to date to them um, about it, so sorry, not going to explain it. 
Alliance between House of Jimpok and House of Duras is weak. Situation is highly exploitable. Recommended we seek agents on Kronos. Many members of this commandated House of Targ have been absorbed into House of Duras. Again, th this is just nonsense to me. Like, I'm... I have no idea what this is all about. I think... I, I have like two, I think, uh, Klingon of, um, characters and all of them were created more than five years ago, so deal with it. <laughs> uh, Klingon Defense Force leadership angered by High Council mandate to work more closely with Klingon intelligence uh, because they believe spying is not honorable at all, so they are pissed about it. Fakiri forces in region missing massing under new leadership. Uh, Fakiri are um, like... I'm not entirely sure what the lore behind them is. I think they are like uh, deformed Klingons or something. Well, that they devolved. There is some um, religious as aspect to it. Like, we, like they are Klingons from hell or something. Uh, Melanie Dian, the 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 unseen entering home of the Rex, son of Mortok, again again like Game of Thrones intrigue. Gorn push for representative in High Council rejected. Oh, Gorn are those big um, crocodile people. Uh, there is um, a famous, I guess, episode or a clip. Uh, from Star Trek or original series where uh, Captain Kirk is fighting one of the Gorons like with, with his manly two arms punching style. Uh, yeah. So those those are the Gorons. They actually have updated uh, Gorn models um, in game, so they they look differently. But there is an option to pick uh, that old uh, face, like from the original series, so you can make your Gorn look ridiculous, like Trandoshan, I believe. Is it Tr Trandoshan in Star Wars? They are the hunter people. True way activity. Observe, observed from Holofit on Cardassia Prime. The Tapa Council petitions Federation to found Lucarian city infrastructure projects. Lucarian, not Lucarian. And that is different because Lucaria, I think, are someone else. And we don't have this unlocked yet. Do we have it here? Episodes. Feature proof. Ferenginar. Nagul. Lukari, not Lakari. Okay, never mind. 47 injured in bombing at the University of Kulat. True way claims responsibility for attack. Uh, the Tapa Council passes bill allowing Kardashian's government to seize assets of persons convicted of terrorist activity. Hmm. Councilor Morim Okanda resigns. Starfleet sending advisors to Cardassia Prime to advise government on security issues. Uh, sticking their nose where, where it doesn't belong. Th this, this is like... Not, not this specifically, but like uh, overall... Starfleet practices I, I'm not a fan of. Like... Uh, they are good on paper, but when you actually look at it, uh, they have like uh, not interfering with other civilization, but but then uh, like in each episode they do interfere. Counselor Evala introduces a resolution calling for Cardassia to apply for Federation membership. Bill Stalson committee. Oh my God. Um, with the um, release of uh, Victory of Life, the I think it's the latest expansion. I'm uh, they, they did something strange recently. Like um, previously, 
when it was an expansion, you knew it was an expansion. Now, the latest two... I, I'm not sure if you would call them expansions. They were very close behind each other, and they had very few missions, so I, I'm not even sure if they can be considered ex as expansions. But uh, since uh, that Victory of Life, I guess, content patch, expansion, whatever you want to call it, uh, Card Ascents actually became playable and they can be either Federation or Klingon, I think. Um, Ministry of Trade extends agreements with Ferengi to market Cardassian-made transport vessels and phaser banks. Kinky. Borg activity. Resistance is futile. Okay. Observed from captured whole recording in the Delta Quadrant. Resistance is futile. And actually... Uh, when we get to Delta Quadrant, um, the Borg are going to be the least of our trouble there. Uh, what is this about? So Sorry, I missed it. Just regular activity, okay. Observed from Hofit, enlisted in post Hephaestus, Jennik is fighting with Hakif again. Hakif takes shuttle and leaves base for two days. Long range sensors mark his progress in neutral zone. Six miners held in for questioning. Only two survived, thanks to me. Chief medical officer reports two cases of Levodian flu, not familiar with it. Uh, I think it probably was an in TV show, I, I just don't don't remember what it is. Six encrypted messages sent from Colonel Hakiv Consul to unknown recipient. Recommend that the transmission be investigated further. Um, we learn through the overall arcs that uh, Hakiv actually is working. Uh, like he has his his own agenda. He's he's not working for Sila. He is a betrayer. And this person died again. Leave. Okay. No, miner. Leave. And he vanished. Damn it. Only one survived. Only one survived. And he will. Pr she, she. He. Do you have. He voice or she voice? She will probably die. Uh, sadness. Journal entry random number. Ancient Krimin is dead. Hakiv ordered him to explore the tunnels. We found organic remains and his fully discharged disruptor was nearby. It looked like he had been melted. I think we should wall off this section of the mine and not disturb the creature down here. Six people have already died. Five were miners and therefore expendable, but Krimin showed promise. I know that in time he would have been a fine officer. Uh, this is going to be a long episode due to all this side lore. I have asked Colonel Hakiv to request reinforcements. If he is determined to kill people exploring this mine, let him kill recruits. Alright. Salty. Maybe a love interest? Probably. We were drilling there near when we broke through a wall into a chamber that hadn't appeared on our scans. Blasted magnesite. It blocks everything. Sensor strike orders there. All useless. The chamber is large and should be suitable for an expansion of the base. There were several spherical orbs in it. We have yet to determine the nature of those orbs, but Janek thinks they are pretty. She kept one for her quarters. I have asked for permission to study the orbs, they remind me of the Federation report I read once, 
I can't remember the details, but it was something about the Janus system. So, in the original series, there is an episode about uh, this creature that we are about to meet, and in it, it also eats miners, and Spock mind melts with it and learns that it is alive, and that this is, I think, its eggs. So, because Janek took one of it, it's probably pissed. Is it eggs or is it poop? I'm, I'm still not sure. I feel like it's eggs. It's probably poop. I don't know. Anyway, it's... Should be killing those people there. Let me help it. Okay, I don't think I, I will be able to keep the miner alive. Come on! Resurrect him! Her! And this, of course, is a Horta. And we can, I think, talk with, with it? Yes, we can! No kill, no kill. This message is born deep into the floor of the chamber. As it sizzles around the edges of the letters. No kill. Nice. So that's what um, this area is about. A little bit of lore and uh, uh, an easter egg in the form of Horta. Is it even an easter egg if it's so easily found? It probably is not. Yeah. By the way, this creature, I love it. It's like uh, from from the times when um, uh, CGI effects were not that great, but it's uh, I I think it's very creative. Uh, what would you call it? Lava creature. I like it. I actually had have one as well. I think. I think we have it like in items. What is this? <gasps> what operative transmission? What what is it? This is first time. Uh... There is bridge event. Well, I'm not that high level. Is it current bridge event? No, I think I remember reading about it in uh, in the blog or something, and it was uh, quite a while ago. Yeah, so so I guess this is for people that uh, did not complete it. Okay, then never mind. Featured task force operation. Hmm. Anyway, I was looking for who? Who? Personal, maybe? Is it personal? Yeah, here we go. Ah. Th there are warriors, Vortas, and I think I have a purple one. It's probably like a quest reward. Is it actually a quest reward from this? Yes, it is. Horta Hatching. Okay. Never mind. I, I will show it to you then. Miner, I think we can uh, agree that you are about to die. I feel sorry for you. But such, such is your life. Such is your purpose. You are just a diversion. And now your life is ended. I can't keep resurrecting you. I'm, I'm sorry. Also, I'm not that fast fast enough, so I will try, but you will probably disappear. No, it's alive! It's alive! We will not let it die. I mean, we will eventually, but like, let it suffer for a while, right? <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, 
level up. Loot. Nice loot. And Hakiv escapes, as How all villains do. What else do you know? No Everything. Matter. You won't be revealing anything to your superiors. It's disappointing I cannot give you a proper interrogation. But I have much to do and little time. The self-destruct sequence has begun. This base will be your tomb. Oh boy. And I think we have to like download some data from here. The reactor is going critical, we need to get out of here, but not before we find out what uh -huh. we did uh, download the data, I believe. So now we can run run miner run you will leave and you will join my crew in servitude uh, i think i'm supposed to go there no that is wrong i'm supposed to go there these rocks can actually hurt you N not 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 for much but like even though they look plastic, just like they did, uh, just like rocks do look on TV shows, uh, they can still like hurt you if they fall on you. I think Miner got lost, right? Yeah. Oh well. It's not like we can save him anyway. And leave. Confront Madran about the Tal Shear base. The poor sod didn't even know about it, probably. Worker demands in the Melasa sector how, how cost price increase for all mining equipment. Uh. My mine! What have you done to my mine? There was an infestation. I didn't do anything. It was the Talshiar cell you were sheltering. Talshiar? I'm shocked. I had no idea. I certainly wouldn't have sent you down there if... Uh, say, you didn't happen to find anything valuable down there, did you? Because if you did, remember that I have an exclusive contract. Stop with the lies, Madran. I know you knew who and what was down there. I mean, friendly play dump. But they do have their, their own spy network, I'm sure. And what is it to you? This is the rough area of the quadrant, you know? And they are good neighbors if you are not easily embarrassed. Their cameras and listening devices are everywhere. I haven't had a single problem with Ori Orions or Hydrogen since they moved in. And it doesn't hurt that I acquired the odd bit of information here and there. I'm a businessman and information is a big business. Do you know anything about what they recently discovered, besides Horta? Unfortunately, no. I will admit, I was trying to find out, but their systems were locked down tight. I'm sure whatever it was had to be big news. Everyone was on edge. Uh, Janak and Hakiv were barely speaking and I once hear, heard Hakiv mumbling something about orders. Someone's been pulling his strings, but I don't know who. I do know that... I do know that Talshiar takes security very seriously. If you manage to pull any files from their system, you can expect them to be heavily encoded. Trust me on that, I speak from experience. Alright. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go talk 100 Ramones and to dig in a new mine to replace the one you destroyed. My profit margin for this month is ruined. Trade those miners well, Mardran, or I will be back. Madran doesn't seem to know much, Captain, or at least he's not willing to part with what information he knows without being paid. I don't think he can help us anymore. We should return to the ship and try our luck at decrypting the files we recovered from the Tal Shiar. I'm sure that they will be more useful than anything Madran has to say. Very well, let's go back to ship. 
And this is actually the only instance, I believe, where we will have to go in here. This is, by, by the way, if you are a new player, you probably don't even know about this. Under this um, more button, there is visit uh, Starship Bridge option. Click on that. And that will take you to your bridge ship. Nice. As you can see, I have my bridge officers here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. They are hard at work. Um, in unified uniforms, that is great. Uh, you can actually visit rest of your ship as well, like you can, you can take uh, turbo lift wherever you want. Uh, there are um, various interiors available, uh, both by default and as well in, uh, in here in bridge packs. I even unlocked some of them uh, when they were on sale or uh, just uh, when they given them away. And in here, I believe, yeah, you have your ready room. You can actually customize the ship a little bit, like you can put trophies here, but sadly I haven't found that many trophies and I think that's... Uh, it's not that I suck, I think it's just more an issue of uh, this system um, being impl implemented during um, like beta or something. And then uh, Cryptic just didn't add anything new uh, to it. So they, they do have some sort of customization here, but sadly you cannot do much. I think the only thing you can do here is actually put ships. And ships, I believe, are the ones that you actually flew. I could, I could be wrong. Oh, they, this, this looks like one of the ships that I flew. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah. You, you do have some fishes. Actually, if you are a Romulan, I think you get like... Uh, charred helmets and... Uh, paintings and stuff from... Uh, from your like... Tutorial missions. Um, you can also do some duty officer assignments here. You have access to bank, surprisingly. I was not aware of this. And you can access library files and I think this is specific to this mission. Plus, please input query. Uh, what can I use this for actually? Certain missions, honestly, honestly only one that I'm aware of. Uh, unless they hit other mis missions very well, I think this is really the only mission that has it. And it kicked me out. Decipher all share files. File file files uploaded. Fervor. Communication file. Plethora. Precedence. Reciprocity. And referendum. So I have to open the reciprocity and I believe uh, I will be able to open it after I decode all of this. Activities of note in Klingon space. Emperor Kallis has been spotted in Breen space. Counselor Jimpog has potential adversary in Jarod. The House of Tork was brought before the High Council for commendation by the House of Martok. Uh, the Forecast 3 battle tournament has new champion. This is actually player character. <laughs> if you play um, a Klingon character, you, you do get to participate in the tournament. Analyze file structure. Anonymous data structure found in file. File is referenced by another file, reciprocity. Cross reference with Starfleet records. And we see that there is discrepancy. Inaccuracy. Change faulty information. <coughs> the House of Torque was brought before the High Council for commendation by the House of Mortok. For the House of Martok. 
Torc, I, I think we read that it was disbanded and absorbed in, into the House of Duras or something like that, so I think it was treason. Yeah. Changes made, updates detected in another file, reciprocity, and I, we cannot open it yet. We, we need all, all them. If we attempt right now, it, it's like this. Uh, select a new file, Plethora. Uh, notable activities in United Federation of Planets. Federation Embassy established on the Fira Prime. Federation Council extends aid to Cardassia Prime and agrees to continue defense pact. Klingon Federation peace talks disrupted on Regulus 4. Vulcan Ambassador Socket retires to monastery on Pajem. Analyze file structure. It's fine. Close reference. Cross reference. Uh, Vulcan Ambassador Socket retires to Monastery of Pajem. Uh, so Socket was that uh, guy uh, in one of the previous missions, if I'm not mistaken, that um, changeling person. So it's not retires but exposed, right? Yeah. Precedence, chain of command for Talshar listening post of Aistus, uh, Colonel Hakiv, Commander Janek, Lieutenant Livok, Lieutenant Delris, Analyze. Okay. Honestly, I have no idea what this is. Revert. Oh, I I think I think perhaps we read it somewhere, but um, yeah, uh, p p perhaps we read it somewhere uh, during the mission, but uh, I I don't remember this uh, referendum. Uh, notable actions in Romulan Senate. Senate votes to give Empress Sela power to override rulings of Imperial Courts, seems plausible. Ambassador Jerk visits Andoria. Raman rebels attack transports in Iota Pivonis. Senate re ratifies new tax on the Lithium. Oh. It's pr probably Vulcan, right? About um, the... Um, what do you call it? Um, the, the reconnection of uh, Romans with, uh, yeah, with Vulcans. And now we can open the file, analyze, apply, apply, apply. And each of these, of these key, keys are from previous files, so we have to actually decrypt all of them. Uh, Secret Raman base detected in the Terra system. Listening post the fastest has detected an increase in subspace communication and ships traveling to and from <coughs> sorry. Sorry, but I think I muted the mic in time. And it's unmuted, hopefully. Not like in my Battle Chasers final video. <laughs> and ships traveling to and from the Deras Dera system. Analysis of the communication and ship traffic reveals pattern of obfuscation normally employed by Rom Raman forces. Talshar forces then intercepted a ship on leaving the Dara system and captured 47 Raman civilians. The passengers and crew were summarily executed under orders of Colonel Hakiv, but the captain and first officer were preserved for questioning. Um, Oh, I think we actually meet meet him later. I'm not sure if he, if he was uh, captain or first or first officer, but we do meet um, a Roman officer later. And uh, I actually, I I I thought that he he's just some homeless person, but he he was actually a high ranking officer. Okay, 
Under interrogation, the captain of the Raman vessel provided a security key that could be used to decipher encrypted communications sent to the Dara system. The decrypted message messages prove that there is a base in this area of space being used by the Raman resistance. Recommendation Tau Shiar ship should be sent to the Dara system immediately to, cop to capture this base and its inhabitants. The Tau Shiar is planning an attack on the Raman base. We need to Get this information to Admiral Tenayans at Starbase 39 Sierra immediately. Alright, and we can actually hail her right away. The Tal Shiar records you recovered show that Hakib and his forces have been targeting the Remans for months. Obasek and his followers have been driven from their homes, had their ships destroyed, and their loved ones killed or imprisoned. Some might say that Obasek's campaign against the Tal Shiar is just. However, Obasek was planning on using Phaleron weapons in the Fahar system, which would have killed hundreds of innocent civilians, as well as the Tal Shiar cell there. This is the problem with revenge. Violence and fury only create more pain and suffering. I was pronouncing that system wrong way the entire time. I apologize for that, but no one cares. <laughs> Okay. I have Congratulations, Commander. And we actually completed the mission finally. Okay, the, this was probably a very long video. I do apologize for that, but uh, I, I mean I do upload uh, shorter videos for other games, so that so that sh that should be fine. Um, I do think uh, longer videos are more fun, so. Those will be Star Trek because I, I do want to keep uh, each mission uh, their own video, like I don't want to... Uh, uh, what would you call it? Mm, not separate, not butcher, divide, divide the mission on uh, to, to several videos because that's that's like... I feel like that's shitty. So yeah, so yeah, and there is a ton of missions in in this game. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been agitated crane, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.